Back to the channel. Uh, as you can see, we're out here in the woods. We got the four wheelers out. Uh, we got dispatched by Forestry Service. A uh, gentleman and two of his kids are trapped. Or not really trapped, but in other words, they've been stuck since yesterday at 5, uh, 5 p.m. and it's now 9.40, I think, almost 10 o'clock. Uh, they've been stuck. He turned down a road he shouldn't have been on, uh, I guess by accident, and buried his truck in a mud hole. So we Forestry Service dispatched us out here to get him pulled out. We brought the four-wheelers to ride in to find him because there's a bunch of little pig trails and we're not exactly sure which road he's on. He doesn't even know. So we're going to find him and then come back and either get the truck and pull him out or if it's too tight to get that big diesel in, we'll pull him out with a four-wheeler. Uh, so yeah, I just thought I'd bring y'all along and let y'all see a little bit of something we do. I think this is a road he was supposed to be on, but I may be wrong. Um, forestry service, he finally got a hold of them about 3.30 this morning, I believe. And uh, once they finally got a hold of us this morning, they don't even know where he's at. So I don't really know what you would call this road if this is a road, but somebody had to have cut it out. And one thing about it, if this was a road, DNR is going to shut it down anyway, or forestry service, because people don't know how to pick their trash up instead of making a mess everywhere. That's why all of our trails here in Georgia are getting shut down. Which I don't know if this is a trail or not, but either way, still shouldn't throw trash in the middle of the woods. Or anywhere. That's what messes it up for the rest of us. About the engine sounding so loud, this thing's an automatic, so it likes to rev up a little bit before it changes gears. I don't see that truck coming back up through here. Uh, we, we already found the truck and I didn't have time to show y'all, which we're on our way back now. 
Um, the camera flattens this stuff out a lot, but this is a pretty good heel. Maybe I can show you with my four-wheeler how, maybe. I don't know if y'all can really see that, but all, everything looks so flat. But all these ruts and rocks right here, this is a two-wheel drive uh, Ford Explorer, probably like a, looks like a 06, 07 model, but it's two-wheel drive. Why in the world the dude came down through all this, I don't know. Um, coming down, it ain't no problem. It's the coming back up part because everything's so slick from the rain last night. Maybe I can show y'all this right here, like these little ledges, which they don't look like nothing, but that's probably a foot deep. Just straight up little ledges, and this right here is a solid rock. The camera makes everything look so, so easy, but, which there ain't nothing to it if you was in a four-wheel drive, but a two-wheel drive Ford Explorer ain't really gonna do too good. But anyway, we'll get him out, no big deal. See like that rut right there, he's on. You can see it under the four-wheeler how deep the rut is. So, and everything's wet because it rained last night, so I don't see him coming out of here too easily. Um, the problem is where he's at, his Duramax won't come down in there because it's, for one, it's too tight, and two, it's, there's nothing but soupy mud, so we ain't gonna take a chance on sticking his truck to until we try to get it out with the four wheelers and snatch blocks. Which, you can do that, and all you gotta do is the more snatch blocks you got, the more it doubles the, the pulling power of the winch. So we're gonna try this first, and if not, then we'll, we'll try his truck, which I know his truck will pull it, but it's just the fact of keeping from tearing something up and trying to keep from getting his truck buried also. He is giving gas. He's doing it right. He's doing it right. Keep on like you was, Nick. Straighten your tires. There you go. Alright, come on, let off brakes. Let off brakes. There you go. Alright guys, we're back at the shop. As you can see we got we got back. Uh man, I got mud all over my camera. Should have brought my GoPro. But uh we got him out. As y'all can see we had to use different Different, uh, what would you call that? Different hookup ways, I guess you would call it. In other words, using the snatch block sometimes, doubling the snatch block, that type of stuff, because we was using the four-wheeler. Um, 
with a 3,000 pound winch and it pulled that heavy explorer out really with no problem. Um, I knew it would, but it actually surprised me more, did more than I thought it would, honestly. Um, so yeah, we're back and I figured y'all might enjoy that. Um, it's like 30 I think, so I was, I'm gonna go get some lunch and start. It's really bright out here too. It's like it's been so uh but yeah, all right, well I appreciate it. And like always, y'all uh just like, comment, share, do whatever you want to do. I appreciate it, and make sure you smash that subscribe button. And until next time, y'all have a good one.